It's what one economist calls a major disappointment. The Labor Department says the nation's unemployment rate rose a tenth to 8.2 percent in May. And just 69,000 jobs were added to payrolls, the smallest in a year. These numbers are worse than expected. On top of that, the government says the economy created fewer jobs over the previous two months than initially reported. It revised figures down, so the pace of job creation in May and April is about a third of what was seen in the first quarter of the year. We still have a long way to go, but the reality is we also need the cooperation of the Congress, and we have to be more proactive. They have to be more proactive in working and meeting with us so that we can put construction workers back, so that we can put those returning vets that are coming back and that are experiencing high levels of unemployment into good jobs. Despite the weak numbers, the Obama administration says growth in the labor force has been consistent since the president took office. We've had 27 months in a row of job growth. Um, we've added 4.3 million private sector jobs in this period. Uh, but given uh, the hole in the economy when the president came to office, given the jobs deficit uh, that the nation faced uh, when the president came to office, and that was uh, uh, even worsened by the recession, uh, I think uh, it's clear we need faster job growth. Republicans agree on that, but insist the administration isn't following the proper path. If they would have taken our advice and worked with us, uh, the economy would be better. More Americans would have better jobs. More Americans would have better incomes. Uh, that's clear to us. In terms of new jobs, there were additions in health care and manufacturing, but a decline in construction, reflecting the continued struggles of the housing sector. So that's a curiosity, and we really would have expected that even though we had weather, they probably shifted some construction jobs earlier in the year, that with the sector picking up, that we wouldn't have seen something like this. So that's kind of surprising. All of this is added to evidence of an economy that has seen slowing growth. First quarter GDP revised down to a gain of 1.9 percent. This is the first increase in the unemployment rate in 11 months, coming just five months ahead of the fall election. Mark Hamrick, The Associated Press, Washington.